And welcome back to chapter 16, A New Dawn, of episode 30, Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explores the Sky. Oh, back here again. Is there a particular reason for that? Did Dustinor appear back here? I'm curious. Well, not that. Actually, I guess for whatever reason, the passage of time is connected to this beach here. This, this is... Back. What? Benjamin, where... Isn't this where I met you, Benjamin? It's like that beach, so that means... Could it be? No, it is! We're in the past! We're back in our world! Yes! We made it, Benjamin! Ugh. Hey, Grova! Look around! We made it home! Back to our world! So we did it. We made it through. Back to this world. <coughs> yep. This is where I met Benjamin. Let me see... We'll be around here. Benjamin was out cold, cold right here. So that's what happened. The trip through time sent me into the eastern forest. You and I both reached your world far away from each other. <coughs> oh, that's right. I'm really confused by a lot of things. This whole concept of time travel. Will you please explain it to us? This isn't really the place to talk, so let's go to Wiggly Tusk Guild and talk there. If we went to the future, we trained there and room there. It would be a perfect place. Let's go to Wiggly Tusk Guild. Hold on. Well, I'd be well received if I go to the guild. After all, I'm a wanted outlaw in this world. Went to your guild. Wouldn't everyone be shocked? Maybe they try to capture me? When I come to think of it, you're right. What should we do? Oh, I know. This is a good place. But when you go through Treasure Town, shouldn't be a problem if we lie low and sneak through. Lead the way. Okay, it's this way. <coughs> There's a message from the Exploration Team Federation. They've somehow managed to track us down... And tell us that special episode Here Comes Team Charm has been unlocked. Play a special episode. Select it from the episode list and the top menu. If you'd like to play the special episode, save your adventure progress and return to the top menu. Okay, I'm confused about this. Because Team Charm does, spoiler, eventually become somewhat important to the story later. But, um, more like a side thing. But anyways, uh, tree has a bunch of branches so you reach the crown, I guess. <coughs> um, and we're at the heart of that tree right now. Anyways, so I don't know why they give it to you now, I guess, because the mission after this makes sense where it is, but it wouldn't make sense why this mission would come after it, even though you don't find out about Team Charm till then. So I guess this is the best place I can just shove it in here, while actually having Team Charm exist. Well, not necessarily exist. The existence is time and darkness. Darkness, I assume. I know time for sure. Anyways. Um, yeah. Oh, Sherbido Bluff. <coughs> Do we actually know the name of that? You might not. Oh, Dr. Chew. Wow, it's a good thing Diggly and Loud had scared him away. This cliff is known as Sherbido Bluff. <coughs> <coughs> Sherbido Bluff? Yep. Yeah, it's called that because the cliff is shaped like a Pokemon named Sherbido. Somehow. As far as I can tell, nothing seems out of the ordinary. Oh. Just there the entire time. That's down here. I left here before I joined the guild. Go on, after you. This is where she lived? I see. This is a hollow chamber in the face of the cliff. It's got barrels and water, all you need. Phew. No one's been here to mess it up. It goes to show how little interest this, there is in this place. Maybe better if we stay here for a while. Agreed. But Benjamin, I never expected you to be the very same Benjamin. Oh, can you tell us more about that? Yes. Benjamin and I, we were jointly investigating the plant's paralysis. Pokemon and human paired together? Yeah. Benjamin had, or has, a special ability like no other. Well, and that special ability to investigate the plant's paralysis played a vital part. By special ability, you mean the dimensional screen, don't you? Exactly. But the dimensional screen has a drawback. The screen requires the presence of a trusted Pokemon partner. The partner the ability cannot be triggered. A trusted partner? That's why we work together. The screen is set off by triggers tied to places where the time gears are hidden. Hidden. We needed to find out where the time gears were in the past. We needed the dimensional screen to accomplish that. 
Well, wait a second. You said the dimensional screen needs a trusted partner nearby, but the dimensional screen was being triggered not long after we met. Your point? Not sure how much you trusted each other from the start? I heard that when you put it like that... I mean, it's a bit embarrassing. In addition, Benjamin developed amnesia. I mean, you and your partner had someone to turn to. Perhaps Benjamin grew to trust you very quickly because of that. Oh, there's another thing I don't understand. Does the dimensional screen go off in response to only time gears? Right. So it's also true, the dimensional screen is not triggered in places that aren't connected to time gears. So does that mean Waterfall Cave and Mount Bristle have time gears in them? Hmm, really? That's not how I remember it. Say, Benjamin, do you remember that time it went off in your drowsy? During your first exploration? There were other times, too. Places that seemed to have nothing to do with time gears. Places like that dimensional screen went off sometimes, didn't it? Are you sure? That never happened in the future. The screen was never triggered by places that held no tie to the time gears whatsoever. Well, that's true. I don't know why it would work differently here. Perhaps things are just different in this world. Maybe the dimensional screen is altered in the past. So in the future, the dimensional screen doesn't work in places that have no connection to the time gears. Oh, that explains it. That's why that time when we were in the future... Do we really need a grayscale, the grayscale? Your dimensional scream! Your dimensional scream, Benjamin! Touch the frozen water! Who knows, you may see something! Oh, I understand. That's true. It's worth a try. And that frozen water might give us a clue about what's happening to us. We shouldn't waste any time. The stable eye will catch up to us. Let's do this quickly. <coughs> Benjamin, touch the frozen spray! Water! How's it going, Benjamin? Can you see anything? I've never, I'll be honest with you, I've never said the name Benjamin so much in my life till now. No, not sensing anything. Maybe I couldn't envision anything at the time we were in the future, because we were in a place that wasn't tied to any of the time gears. That's why dimensional, dimensional screen failed to work. But I was right about the future and past being different, enough to make my dimensional screen ability work differently. Anyway, like I was saying, we were investigating the planet's paralysis. Use dimensional screen ability to identify the locations of time gears in your world while we were in the future. That's it. Here. Time gears here. I see. Place a drought stone in Groudon's heart. That lifts the fog. Very well done. Good job, partner. After identifying the locations where the time gears would be in the past, took the passage of time. Rise from our world in your future to this world. However... Very beginning. Whoa, 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 are you are you okay? No, don't let go. Just a little longer. Come on, hang on. No, no, I can't. Hold on. Ah. Maybe because of the storm, we encountered turbulence while we were traveling through time. Thus, Benjamin and I became separated. For some reason, Benjamin got amnesia and was turned into a Pokemon. I guess it had something to do with our accident while traveling in time. I came from the future, and not just that, I came with a mission of preventing the planet's paralysis. I don't know, it seems so outlandish. It doesn't feel real somehow. So, Benjamin, you may not remember any of this, but you're my closest friend. I'm worried about you when we were separated. Glad to see you're safe. Your parents may have changed. Though you've lost your memory, you're still you. you now this alters the fact that you remain my friend. Oh, Benjamin, glad to see you again. Now, you have to decide on a course of action. Like I told you before, I'm going to collect the time gears again. What are you going to do? Um, I'm a little worried about how time stops in the region where its time gears are moved. You sure they will only be temporary? That's right. In the time gears send place a temporal tower. Time will be stored to its normal state everywhere. <coughs> well then, we'll go too. We'll go with you, Grovel. Stealing a time gear will cause trouble for Pokemon that live in that area. We have to prevent the pilot's paralysis. Okay, then we'll go together. But the hour's late. So exhausted from all the running we've done. Should us up tonight. We'll leave in the morning. Jeez. It's like, just like, um, they're taking a bucket of information just dump it over you. But then again, like, I mean, the difference between the plot, like, the spaces between the plot is just, uh, mystery dungeons. Which, I don't know, don't really bother me. Hmm? Umbra is in here. Maybe outside. What's the matter? Can't sleep? Yep, just thinking. Thinking about Dustinor? No, that's not it. Sure, if I know we were being fooled, really hurt, but... You saw earlier, Grovel? Realize that what Dark Dustinor said in the future was really true. 
I understand that Benjamin really did come from the future. There were things like that in my head. Oh, look, Robo. Sunlight. Sunrise. Top screen strikes again. Isn't this the beginning song? It's pretty, isn't it? Yes. I guess because we we're in the future for so long. I didn't think that a sunrise could ever feel so renewing. The sun rises, then it sets. Took that for granted, and it sets only natural. Things we take for granted? They're the most essential things, and they're precious. All I'd ever known is a future's world of darkness. When I'm coming to this world and seeing the sun for the first time, it was staggering. Seeing it, it strengthened my resolve to turn history away from a future of darkness. There is one thing that I wanted to ask of you, Umbra. It's about that time in the future. We were confronted by Dialga. Frankly, we were in a no-win situation. There was no hope. We shall be rid of you for all time. This is the end for you. <laughs> but, hey, Benjamin Grover, you can't give up. Yeah, we say not to give up, but what can we possibly do in this bleak situation? We have to think. When all seemed lost, you refused to give up. Even I had given up. What compelled you? How did you manage to stay so strong? Well, I wonder too. I really don't know. But maybe. Maybe it was because Benjamin stood by me. Benjamin? Have a look at this. This. What could it be? There's an odd pattern inscribed on it. Oh yeah, the relic fragment. That hasn't been important for like 20 episodes, at least. No, probably like 25. I've never seen anything like it. This pattern is new to me. It's my relic fragment. It's my personal treasure. It's my dream to one day solve the mystery behind this fragment. I was so scared so easily. I didn't have the courage to apply it as an apprentice of the guild. That was when I met Benjamin. Benjamin... Well, okay. I'm gonna believe in you, Benjamin. Yes, I totally believe in you, Benjamin. Benjamin, 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 Benjamin... I hate that name. Yes, Benjamin was always there to cheer me up. And... Ah! Look, I'm scared. But it's time to be brave. I need to stand up to this. We can't just run away now, Benjamin. Especially because that was really easy, if I remember correctly. It all gave me his courage. Benjamin, I felt like I could overcome any challenge. That's how I came to feel over time. That's why I was able to keep going without giving up. Alright, I think I understand what you're saying. Yes, Benjamin has a special quality that makes others feel that way. The same way that I care for Benjamin as a friend. You, Umbra, also feel that same way about Benjamin. Benjamin is lucky to be blessed with a friend like you. Well, it's morning. Should be leaving soon. Yep. Oh yeah, by the way, if you wanna, were worried about your money... Well, worry continuously because uh, we're not being able to deposit it yet. Alright. It's so agreed that we will collect all the time gears first. To decide which time gear we should target. Let's check the wonder map. From here? Underground Lake seems to be the closest. How about you, Shared Forest? That's where I got my first time gear the last time. Where's that? Here. It is a little far from here, but there's no one like Yoxi guarding that time gear. Oh, great! I have to fight someone over a time gear, that would attract attention. Won't be a problem here, right? Exactly. That's settled. That's where we'll go. We're off to Tarshid Far Tree Shroud Forest. Ah. This is it. Oh, by the power of stereo. This is the entrance to Tree Shroud Forest. Oh? Something wrong, Grover. The atmosphere somehow feels different from the last time. No. Must be imagining it. We'll go in when you're ready. I don't feel good about taking the time gear, but I don't have any choice now. Let's go, Benjamin. In the forest. <coughs> so congratulations on making it everywhere. We have officially completed the second arc of this game. The future it sucks arc, I guess. We did the expedition arc, and now the future sucks arc. Finally, spoiler, I guess. We are in the final arc of the game, which is stopping the planet's paralysis. Well, trying to, at least. Itemizer, that's the thing that turns a Pokemon into an item. I mean, there isn't really a reason to say. I guess if the game card, like, messes up. Although I've never, I've never actually had a, 
Like literally, the, I think the only time I've had games crash on me was actually that Final Fantasy V video. And then whatever happens between now and then. Give me time, you have the deepest part of this forest. Give me as soon as you're ready. Are you ready, Benjamin? Okay, we're all set to go. Let's get moving. How very kind of you. Heck, maybe I don't even need pure... That's painfully stupid, yes, but, uh... Well... So much for being able to actually go places. Well then... She needs that so she can actually do stuff. Case in point! I need to use, I have no other, well, you are the one, oh yeah, and I'm super effective against you. Yeah, that's right, she's super weak. Well, that's not going to be good. One down. By that, I mean one of my reviver seats down. Thankfully, we should be able to restock soon after this dungeon. Oh. Thank you. I should try and... Are you kidding? No! I swear, I have never had an item be thrown for me so much. Great. Oh, she's well off. Nice welcome back, eh? How many did I eat? One, two, three, four, five. There's one, two, six, seven. There's seven. Oh my god. So that's basically how monster. Oh, you're being kind now. How monster houses generally go. Is they fuck you up? You have to be super damn lucky to they never not encounter them. Well, not really. They're pretty. They're like one percent or something. Well, okay, I'm not gonna put an actual chance thing. Again, I don't even think that'd be figure outable because, um, 
And so, um, I mean, unless you went and specifically explored every single room and did a dungeon multiple times for, I guess, research gathering, so like, you know, runescapes, like how many charms was up? All that stuff, because I know that the wiki people do that. Which, thank you for that, I guess. I mean, I don't, I've never really grounded charms, but I don't know why runescape has any significance in here. <coughs> anyway. Yep, so Tree Trap Forest is not a nice dungeon, as you can probably tell. And again, there's a probably a reason for that, and that's probably because they're all defending the time gear, because they recognize Groval. Maybe, I don't know. I was always confused how Pokemon managed to live in mystery dungeons if they're such, like, horrible places or whatever. Hey, yeah, the stronger I get, the less we have to worry about stuff like that. Maybe I should have stayed in the future for a little bit and trained in Dusk Forest. Oh dear. Because that was an awesome amount of experience I was getting consistently from those like Rhydons, Agrons, and Celixes, which I could all pretty much insta kill. I guess technically insta kill isn't the type of right word because there are insta kill moves like Guillotine. And I don't know, I've never actually liked Ninetales Sprite in this game, which is specifically why I chose Eevee instead of Vulpix. And they're like, huh, you know what? I've never actually done um, a um, so. No, I've never actually had a female partner in these games. And, um, oh boy. and other than that, I've always used, like, one of my friends from real life. Wow, how is this not a monster house? How is this not filled with... Oh, petrified orbs. That's actually really good for monster houses. Why would I do that? They're very gorgeous. Wow, we have a lot. We have almost as much. Uh oh. That's not gonna be good. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Brick, break, 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 set. Break this. Just making sure there weren't any items there or something. Alright, I've seen. Nah. The only place I've consistently getting revive a bunch of revival seeds is Mount Bristle for some unknowable reason. <coughs> Salt Rocks makes traps like that spikes that Fortress used a couple episodes ago. Oh, thanks. <coughs> Alakazam? Oh, yeah, that's definitely Alakazam. He's back from the past, I guess. <coughs> I was about to say we should maybe worry about these guys even more than the Kadabras, but uh, so far, I don't think I've been able to really do much. Oh, great. Tuna bet we get under here unscathed. Oh, hi, Vesper Queen. You were bug flying, right? So this should do like nothing to you. It did nothing to you. To level 31. She's out leveling me somehow. Well, look, I can tough it out. One, 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 one. How is she out leveling me now? That doesn't make any sense. I hate you. And I can't leave. I'm stuck with this Ninetale. Yeah, I didn't. I don't really like Ninetales right in this game. So. Oh, level 31, finally. Yes, Benjamin leveled up! I get. I don't know why that showed up a message there suddenly. <laughs> Could you imagine if we went down the wrong corridor and then because I couldn't back up? 
I went down the wrong corridor regardless. Somehow we lost that Curlia. I think we're almost out of here. I didn't realize how many songs actually just like move between um like headphones. We can still two hit things. So. Oh, I still actually had a quick attack. Well, whatever. Unless he does that. Mm, that seemed useful, didn't it? Yeah, he's not... What? I mean... I don't know why he's not a member of a team, but it'd be nice if he was, and I could actually, like, demand him to do stuff. Used to being hungry. We might actually have to eat something for once. It's not something that I'm okay with. trouble here. So... I'm just gonna eat food. Ah, plain seats! This will keep me going. Oh, does that restore like five? Jeez. Yeah, it does. It's to the left all the way. Okay, see ya. Oh, that's nice. I'm glad you're not actually a psychic type, even though in, by all standards you should be. Oh, not again. And everyone's gonna be confused. Yay! Double confusion! Triple confusion! Oh, you can't actually hold B and A, that's right. So once you're in this state, then you can't actually do that anymore. This is going to be the first, like, 24 dungeon. I mean, I know this is a bit silly to do just so that I can say that I haven't had to eat food yet. You guys are in trouble. Well, it's a good thing we got that Petra Berry. And I don't use any special tech moves. And she leave that till we're fifty HP. Hopefully, do anything good to you. Good. That's right. Ah, this BNA thing is getting annoying. Okay. 
come it was at the very first time for it was next to the first the room we spawned in how, how decidedly typical eh? Nah, I don't have to eat anything. I mean, haven't we all just been really hungry before? Yeah. And insta-kill? Insta-kill. The, yeah, dungeons can't go any lower than that. Please tell me this is... Okay. My goodness, are you kidding me? There's still even more, right? Biggest fucking area. And in case you're wondering, yes, you will get killed by this. Despite spinning it up. And despite spinning up the blast seed, we still get all five hunger. It shouldn't cause any problems unless it uses it. Use your quick attack, Grova. What if... Uh... And if anyone needs to die, it should be me. She should avoid anyone. Oh, come on. Well, to death we go. It's gonna be tight. Somehow. So why am I not using the thorn? Because I don't usually use the thorns, but still. No. Umbra, what are you doing? Okay, this has been stupid enough for long enough. You could see, 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 uh, let's eat her first apple, I think. Well, what is this? <coughs> well, time's so frozen. Was it not supposed to be? Time is at a standstill here. But didn't they, just before we were dragged off into the future with you, Evra? Yuxi, Mesper, and Azel, I trust you with the rest. Yep. We know. We have the time gears back. We'll make sure that they're returned to the rightful places. Task is yours. Didn't Yuxi and his friends make a promise that they would return the time gears to the rightful places? But time remains stopped here. That means the time gears may not have been put back in the rightful places yet. We'll see about that. The forest time gear is over here. Near some graves. What's this? It's a time gear. There's no mistaking it. But... I'm here seems to be stopped. There isn't even a breeze. See... <coughs> you know, these are fixed in place. Time has really stopped here. The time goes back where it should be. Why is this happening? Goral took the time gear.
Hey, what are you doing? Time's already stopped here. It won't make any difference if I take the time gear now. There's also something that's more worrying. Well, more worrying? Forget it. Let's leave. Also, Umbra, there's something I'd like you to do. What is it? Before you go back to Sharpedo Bluff, I'd like you to gather some information in Treasure Town. Treasure Town? Yes, here's what I want you to find out. Learn everything you can about what's happening in this world right now. Sure thing, I'll go find out. Everyone thinks that you've gone into the future. Therefore... I know. If they find out I'm back, there'd be an uproar. I'll keep low and get some news somehow. Counting on you. I'm back. Got some news like you wanted. What's the word? The word is not very good. We went to the future. Your exceeding friends put back the time gears in their original places. I was happy because they thought time would return to normal. Time stayed stopped in those places. Even worse, it's spreading. Time is stopping in more and more places. Is that true? Yep. Everyone's upset because no one can tell what's going on. But do you know what this means? If time is stopping in this spreading area, it can only mean one thing. Temporal Tower is starting to collapse. The Pearl Tower is collapsing? Correct. Pearl Tower gives structure to time, so if it is starting to collapse, time itself will collapse in ever-widening areas. This is bad, the problem is accelerating. Plants for us is coming on fast. But, but, we have to hurry then. That's right. If we don't hurry, the planet will become fully paralyzed. Only one way to stop the destruction time now. You need to gather time gears, and time gears must be put in place in Temporal Tower where Dialga lives. But there's a problem. Tower, temporal Tower is located in a place called the Hidden Land. The name suggests no one knows where the Hidden Land is. But there isn't any time! That's right. That's why I think we need to split up for now. I'll go collect the time gears. Meantime, I want you two to search for the Hidden Land. Okay. Is that okay, Benjamin? Okay, then you're in charge. And land is supposedly somewhere in this world. Unfortunately, there are no clues as to where it is exactly. And no one's discovered it yet. You should probably assume that it's quite far away. So you can consider crossing the sea and discover the means to do so. It's called boats. <coughs> Cross the sea? So I don't have knowledge about how to do that. I'm counting on you. Well, I'll be off to gather the time gears. Good luck. Now, you should go searching too. Let's find the hidden land. So, uh, where should we begin looking? Um... So, why don't we think we about how we can cross the sea? Well, we just happen to be here at the beach, so... Hmm, this isn't working. We're crossing the sea, I'm not coming up with anything. So we search for the hidden land, but... Where do we even begin looking? We have to hurry too, ugh! It's true, we've got too little information to go on. We have no time to waste. We have to locate the hidden land as soon as possible. We find Temporal Tower and put the time gears inside it. If we have to do that, our planet will become paralyzed. We stop that whatever it takes. And to do that well, we have no choice. We need everyone's help. That's it. Tell Umbra. Huh? What is it, Benjamin? Let's go to Wigglytuff's Guild. Pardon? You want to go to the Wigglytuff's Guild? Why? Vanish in front of everyone, remember? Well, sure, I think everyone would be really worried about us. I miss everyone, too, but everything we saw in the future. You might grow out, and about Dustnor. About your past, Benjamin. If we tell it all to the guild, how can they believe us? What do you think, Benjamin? Think everyone in the guild will believe us? I don't know. You're right. We can tell everyone about what we went through. No telling if they will believe us or not. I mean, everyone in this world is convinced that Gravel is a villain. I think Dustnor is a really good Pokemon. Everyone especially respects Gro Dustnor. I saw the future, but I still don't want to believe the truth about Dustnor. If I don't know the truth, I wonder if they will be able to accept it. It's true. We're saying it's true. I mean, no one will believe us if we tell them the truth, but... Walk. Pardon? We should tell them anyway? Why? They might believe us, right? We should tell them anyways? Um, good option. Yes, tell them. <clears throat> Why? Why do you think so? We need everyone's help. Everyone's help. I get it. There's no way we can find the hidden land on our own. But we do need everyone's help. If we don't get their help, we'll run out of time to prevent the plant's paralysis. Benjamin. Okay, you're right. Let's go home to Wigitas Guild. Umbra. Let's go back to the guild and tell everyone the truth. Imagine everyone will be shocked, but I'm sure they will understand. Let's go home, Benjamin. Back to Wigitas Guild. Yes, because this is in fact the end of the episode, so we managed to get back in our own time this episode. <coughs> Enjoy this video. You know what to do. See ya.